Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Monday, October 13th. Where to begin? World leaders were quite busy over the weekend discussing plans intended to stabilize the global financial system. The early verdict from the futures market is that multiple steps were taken in the right direction. The major indices in the U.S. opened sharply higher following a path taken by foreign averages, many of which registered gains in excess of 5%. The main message from the weekend meetings is that governments the world over seem to get the severity of the financial crisis now and are intent on taking extreme measures to improve matters. On the latter point, there were pledges by European leaders to guarantee new bank debt. The UK is injecting $63 billion directly into the Royal Bank of Scotland, HBOS, and Lloyd's TSG Group. Treasury Secretary Paulson continues to reiterate the desire to invest directly in U.S. banks as soon as possible. And the Federal Reserve, along with other major central banks in Europe, announced actions to provide unlimited liquidity for short-term funding markets. This critical mass of initiatives has helped stem the overwhelming tide of negative sentiment that persisted last week and has encouraged some early bargain hunting efforts. Separately and importantly, some modest improvement has been seen in the credit market in the wake of the weekend action as closely watched yield spreads, viewed as a risk gauge, have narrowed a bit. Stabilizing the credit market is the first step st towards stabilizing the stock market. Accordingly, the direction of credit risk premiums will be a driving force behind the stock market in the days ahead, just like they have been in the days past. For now, things are moving in the right direction, both on the credit market and stock market fronts. Still, with much uncertainty remaining, it stands to reason that rebound efforts will be arduous due to the influence of bearish-minded participants and investors rattled by recent trading who will use the strength as an opportunity to sell at higher prices. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening.